just coming. Um, Saken, uh, this is where you will stay with your sister for now. Um, that idea of a completed building is totally unacceptable by the church. That is why we've come for this room. Uh, you stay here, relax, feel free. I will make arrangements with the parish cook on how to bring food for you anytime you need food. And one more thing, please do not hesitate to tell me anytime you need anything. Alright? Say again now, you are welcome. And <laughs> um, please, you have to excuse us for a while. Eh? This meeting is meant for the church council. Please, if you don't mind, please. Father Jude, I'm sure you know why I'm here. I want to believe you have given my message to the church council. Please come and settle me, I don't have time. Say so again now, uh, I don't understand what you are talking about. You don't understand what I am talking about. Here, eh? Am I speaking house and language? My own money, Father Jude. My own money. Now listen and listen good. Nobody, I repeat, nobody should get me upset. Because if you do, you'll not like the other side. You can't, what is it? You don't talk to our father in that manner. You don't, you don't have to. Hey, please, excuse us, please. Tell him to give me my money. Saikena, if I may ask, what money? Which money? <laughs> um, Saikena had a problem. He came the other time asking for the money he gave for the church project. Faraju told him the money has gone into the project, but he refused, saying we are lying, but we must give him back his money. What? It is not Saikena, is that why you came here and talked to the father in that manner, without respect? Are you listening at all? Where in this world have you heard that a man was giving back what he gave to God? That money has gone into the church project. Mm. So please, excuse us. Hey, bastard. Mua. You're senseless. Mua. Who has contributed to the growth of this church as much as I have? And so? Huh? Now listen to me. I have a problem. A serious predicament. Business is bad for me. And I need the money I give to you people to reinvest in my business. And if I don't get that money, if I don't get that money, Father, if I don't get that money, you will not like me. Again, is it? Yes, I can. We understand what we are going through. But this is not the way you should go about it. <laughs> eh? If you need money, just calm down. That is a big lie. Eh? That is a big lie. This meeting will not hold if I don't get my money. Saiken, hmm. with all due respect, excuse us. Of course. Uh, yes, excuse us. You are a big thief. Hey! Hey! You are a big thief! And if I do not excuse you, what would you do? You called me a thief? You are a bastard!
A lot of things beyond my control. A lot of things I cannot foretell. But I want to start by saying I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what came over me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I repeat, tell me anytime you need anything. Do you understand me? I also want you to know that this situation will last but for a while. In no distant time, you're going to stand back on your feet. The Lord is your strength. Okay? Weeping endure it for the night. But joy will definitely come in the morning. May the peace and the love of God remain with you now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just relax. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Mary. I'm one of the girls who helped get a job last year. Um, but I don't remember you. That's okay. My pleasure to meet you. How are you? Same here, sir. Um, I heard of a problem you had some time ago. It's a pity. That's okay. I, I'm fine now. It's all in the past. Okay. Thank you. Um, can I be of help to you in any way? No, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Please don't tone down my offer. It is my only two way of saying thank you for what you have done for me. Please. All right. I really do appreciate it. Bye. Right. Okay. Um, can I have a number? Um, I misplaced my phone. Okay. No problem. We'll see tomorrow at the evening service. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so you can, like, let me ask, what's your prayer life like? Hot or cold? Mother. I wouldn't say it is hot or cold. It is somewhere in between, somewhere in the middle. Uh, do you like your tea lukewarm? I don't like it. Exactly. Nobody likes a steam or water lukewarm. It's either it's hot or it's cold. Um. But mother. I've been meaning to ask you. Why do you feel the need to examine my life? Let's say because I've been where you are today. So I understand perfectly what you're going through. But you see, um, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the good Lord always delivers them. It is written that um, you can say to the mountain, be moved and be cast into the sea. Believing that it shall be done, then it will come to pass. Let me even ask, how often do you pray for your business? Very little. Well, that's the point. You see, the fact that I am a reverend sister does not mean that I never had my ups and downs. I was just like you until I learned to study my Bible. And the good Lord showed me that it's not for me to do the lifting. All I need to do is to pray. And things started happening. 
So what you need to do now is to pray, trust, and stand on the word of the Lord. Now the good Lord will take care of any situation you find in your life. Mother, I must thank you for your kind words and encouragement. I must say, I love your faith and your closeness to God. Sir Ikenna, if you give me one hour of your time every day, I will teach you how to pray. I will teach you how to fight and with the right weapon. You see, I see in you a prayer warrior that needs to be awakened. Ikena, how are you? I'm fine. God has been faithful. See, I've been looking for you, but your phone has been switched off. Like I don't have a phone anymore, and I'm fine without a phone. Ikena. I don't want to believe that what I have is true. What did you hear? One man is in it. That you're not leading a church. And Emeka, what is wrong in living in the house of God? Are you living in the house of God as what? As Reverend Father? Or Reverend Sister? Or Seminary? One man again again. One me. As what? Emeka. I am not in the mood for this discussion. So leave me alone. I know exactly what I don't know you don't know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Because I look at you like a madman. Do you not live in a parish? You know, I saw a reverend father and reverend sister. One no below the kitai, you blow my sabbath. That's a shame. You know, I see I'm a friend. It is a slap to our person. We are friends. He said, no. Come and join the League of Billionaires. You decided to be a pauper. A pauper. Are you comfortable with it? I mean, you've lost all you've got. My name was Yaka. Are you not ashamed? Rise up. Can I ask you a question? I'm not here. What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Emeka, you call the word of God fallacy? Yes. <laughs> Emeka, I know you. Emeka, I know everything about you. I am also aware. You are trying to initiate me into a secret cult. People who kill and do all sorts of human sacrifice for money. I know. I want to tell you something. And I will be very happy if you listen and listen attentively. Listen. I'm just one of you. So. It's division of labor. You see, it doesn't end in making money, but to train money. And as we guys, authority, what we go. I want you to understand that poverty 
like the white man said, is an epidemic. Opium is used for them. But at the moment, the What I expect of you to do right now is to come to the brochure and bet you to become a man. And then there's this common saying that says, Give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. That which is for us will be to be carrying on. So you should understand. That was so born again, and the night of Saint Mark Parish, you were so one make a chole come. Go do chole bomb. There is something I know that you don't know. So one let it do. Then come. Emeka, I'll advise you give your life to Christ. <laughs> Tomorrow might be too late for you. Our conversation is over. Okay,
سايكل نا سايكل Where are you going to? My friends are calling me. Who? My friends. They're calling me. Your friends are calling you by this time of the night? They're calling me. Saikenda! Saikenda! Masquerade spirit, every every power of darkness. I come against every occultic power. In the mighty name of Jesus, I set myself free from every bondage, every satanic bondage. I come against their powers. of darkness I rebuke you things of the Lord are for thee that fear the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this revelation. I stand against the preparation against I came. You said in your word that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And you have given us power, labor, shakaru, to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means us. Therefore, I decree and the unsurmountable name that supports the dragon in the name of Jesus Christ that every works of the enemy against I cannot be broken into pieces this minute in the name of Jesus Christ and chain all the enemies. Every evil power coming from the pit of hell against us. Lambra Basha Kamuli Bragalababa. Ye kama zanda ya karabo ye keze bere baba libra karabo mazun bere bana ya Jesus I trust in you Oh merciful Jesus Oh merciful Jesus Oh merciful Redeemer Yeah I'm fine Uh you came for the morning mass Yes Oh, that's good. Do you do this every time before you go to work? Of course. Where is my weapon? Oh, amazing. Oh, keep it up, okay? Thank you. Actually, I got something for you. For me? Yeah. Okay. And this... I know it's late here, but I just have to manage this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. 
You're welcome. I need to run down. Okay. Okay. Can that this dream make me to understand that there are evil hands, evil hands that are behind the problem you had in business. And those people, those evil people, are the people that are very close to you. But I'm already praying, I'm already in prayers that the Lord shall release you from the captivity of the enemy. Amen. And I tell you something, you shall come out triumphantly. Amen. But you need to pray for yourself. You need to pray for yourself. Father, thank you very much. I'll do everything in my power to seek the face of God. Please do. You are an overcomer. Amen. The peace and love of God be with you. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> 
On a bona, on a de bon guy. Well, the Bible And what is wrong in preaching the gospel? Yeah, <laughs> give I now work with a We play music and fall in love with real cash. One day, when I walk on my ideology. Let her go. I'll keep doing the work of he that sent me. <laughs> So you are not ashamed to be seen around with this, this thing, in the same vicinity where you're known as a wealthy man. Okay. You are now seen as a dirty poor preacher. God, what are you doing? Are you this senseless and garbage? What are you preaching? Can you be a poor He that is ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of him before my Father in heaven. Says the Lord of God. One. Bible 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 you are taking this, your born again thing, too far! Go, go, man. Yes. Too much. And you're beginning to understand this from a different perspective. Nataba. It's wrong. Chetana. Including you? Oh, my God. Oh! How are the mighty fallen? Go in. Go in, you see. Yes. We made the decision, but I decided not to conclude from afar. I joined the club, and I saw it wasn't what we were told that it was. All right, my friends here helped me out of poverty. Can't you see? Can't you see the way? Can't you feel that? Can't you feel that? Listen to me. You're my friend. I don't like to see you like this. Come out of your poverty state. Let's show you light. Let's show you some light so you can, you know. Are you sure you know what you have gotten yourself into? into? Oh, God, my God. Don't get me wrong. Thank you for looking out for me. But you have to be very careful. And listen. I don't want your help. My spirit does not welcome collecting anything from you people. My help comes from the Lord. And I'll advise you to give your lives to Christ before it is too late. God does not take pleasure in the death of any sinner. Give your lives to Christ. Be very careful before you begin to impregnate Reverend Sisters. Listen. Get out of my sight right now. You stink me. Glory be to God in the heart. I heard you went to win souls for the Lord. Yes, mother. That is very good. And please note that anyone that works in the Lord's vineyard must be rewarded. Amen. Um, there's been something that has been bothering me. Before you started having your business uh, problems, you had a lot of friends, rich friends in this parish, like uh, Cheta, your business partner and best friend. Come, none of them is ready to help you. I mean, especially, I mean, look what you're going through. No, nobody's been of help. Um, Mother, I am sorry to ask this question, 
How did you find out about this? Well, a, a couple of them were here earlier in the day and um, I spoke to them on your behalf and they were like, they've been offering their help and you, you've turned them down, you've refused to accept any help from them. Um, Mother, the truth is, I have not been led in my spirit to accept anything from them. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, good. Um, what is going on? What do you mean? Well, I'm talking about your marriage. Mother, that marriage is a close chapter. As a matter of fact, it's a part of my life I hate to remember so much. <laughs> Ifama, we are talking about marriage vows here. Vows taking in the presence of the Lord at the altar. Not some... Mother, if you don't have any reasonable words to talk to me about this morning, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I have to leave. I don't know how to call marriage. And where is in time? I see. Uh, why, Alo? Forgive my interference. But what about your baby? It's a pity. I lost it. It's a pity you lost it. trying to ask her after you. She has completely changed. Mother, what about the, the baby, my baby? <coughs> and she, 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 she lost the baby. What? Brother, I am so sure that if former never had any miscarriage. She aborted that pregnancy just to go about her normal life. Mary, I'm aware if Oma aborted my child. But what I can't understand is, if Oma has changed, she has suddenly become heartless to me. Bad influence. But that bad influence, I heard the woman she stays with is a very terrible person. Hello, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm in the church right now. Yes. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Brother, who was that? It's called Miriam. Brother, who 
Hello, sir. You sounded worried on the phone. What is wrong? My sister is very sick. My father is not around. But I've gotten some money from him to take her to the hospital. When did it start? It started last night. Oh. Okay, um, so what will happen, eh? You just try and bring her down. Let me hurry and get a text so that we can take her to the hospital. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Thank you for everything. I I don't know the right words to use. I mean, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you for everything you've been doing for me. You didn't only take my sister to the hospital. You took care of the bills. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, okay? It's all right, sir. What a friend. And um, Mary, don't call me sir. My name is Ikenna. Please call me Ikenna, all right? Okay. Okay now, there's something I want you to do for me. Um, okay, let's hear it. What's that? Tomorrow is my birthday and I want you to be the first person to call me. Oh, that's fine. That's doable. I can do that. that that's fine. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much. Alright, let, let me walk you. Alright. through so much in my life. I have overlooked so many betrayals. But the fact that my wife left me and began to sleep with my friend, Mizzi, all because of money, that I can't overlook. Saikena, I understand perfectly how you feel. But I would like to ask you a question. Do you think God still loves your wife and your friend? Mother, he is God. I'm sure he still does. Do you love your wife? Mother, I have so much love in my heart for her. But that is buried under the frustration she has caused me. Then she needs grace. No! Mother, she doesn't deserve grace. Do you deserve grace? You see, the Bible makes us to understand that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God, in his infinite mercies, decided that he would forgive all of us. So, he sent his only begotten son so that he would die on the cross and we will have forgiveness and salvation of our souls. You need to learn to forgive. 
Because the Bible says he cannot forgive you if you do not forgive those that have offended you. Mother, it's just too difficult to do. That is where grace comes in. God's grace would make you forgive people. No matter how bad they have hurt you, God's grace will give you that grace that you need to forgive. Listen, you cannot have you and God, the Holy Spirit, in your soul. You need to diminish so that God will take over. And when he does, he will take away everything bad in your life. When you learn to forgive you, you're set free. You're free to laugh, you're free to do anything with so much happiness. It is time to let God take over. And then, you would be able to fight your real enemy. Mother, did I hear you say enemy? Yes. That enemy that is locking around the corner, hiding deeply. Satan. He is out there to ravage you, to destroy your happiness, your marriage, your business, everything good about you. The devil is ready to destroy. But if you allow God into your soul, He gives you the grace. He gives you the peace. He gives you the love to continue fighting. He takes over your life. And that way, you are able to find Satan in prayers. It is time to become a prayer warrior. Because you need it. There is no magic in the location of prayer. The Bible says you can go to your room and pray in secret. And your heavenly father who sees what you do in secret will reward you openly. Now, get rid of any distractions and focus your heart on God. <laughs> Acknowledge that He is God and that you desperately need Him. Be grateful for your blessings. Then lift up your burdens to Him. Beg Him to teach you how to be a better husband. If there's something bothering you, confess and ask for His forgiveness. Then choose to believe and trust in Him. For He can and will always take care of you. Then pray for yourself your wife and your family and any other person that the Lord brings your way. Don't rush it. Take your time. Feed my cause, O oh Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause, they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and let his net that he has hidden catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you, delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him. Yes, the poor and the needy for, for him who plunders him. Fierce witnesses rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me evil for good, to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, Baby. 
tu cuando gara y ve tu cuando gara oh god it's a mao y ve tu cuando gara sit and listen to me you can't take away my family you can't take away my wife you can't take away my business and still want to take away my life. I command you, wherever you have been manipulating my life, I command you to release me now. My life is under a new management. My life is under a new management. I have no business with you. I have no commitment with you. I have no agreement with you. So I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Release me now in Jesus' name. Release my family in Jesus' name. Release my business in Jesus' name. I cried out to you, O Lord. Unto the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Hear, O oh Lord, and have mercy on me, Lord, my helper. You have turned for me my money into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praises to you and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. <laughs> Agent of darkness, I rebuke you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, this dream again. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for you have given us victory. Thank you, worshipped of days, for we are victorious. For if the Son of Man shall set us free, we are free indeed. No weapon formed against the children of God shall prosper. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us victory. In the name of the Father, the Son. Greetings, the great keeper of the temple of Sakusa. The welcome. I saw the cow you brought for sacrifice. Oh, yes. <clears throat> great one, I'm grateful. Uh, if that one is not big enough, I can provide a bigger one. <laughs> that sacrifice is rejected. Why? The spirit of Sakusa needs the blood of a virgin girl. never knew is one of the criteria to be out of the club. Nobody told me I was going to keep. How? You were told. You were told that we will be offering a living thing every six months to the spirit of Zakuza. Oh yes! A cow! This one being not a living thing. Have two weeks to offer the sacrifice. Uh, 
Uh, Mother, you know the last time you suggested that we do something really fast about uh, the criminal situation. So I thought about it and I, I went to the bishop as regards to what he's asking for. So after much deliberation, the bishop ordered that half of the money should be recovered back to him. Mother Mary, you're awesome. Yes. I can't believe yes. this. You can uh, he's, he's, he's one of us. And he's been of immense help to this parish. We can't watch him suffer. So I quickly related to the parish council. And uh, I told him to make half of his money available so that he can start on the for him. Father, thank you so much. You don't even know what you've done. That money will be of great help to the young man. Yes, yes. Mother Mary, thank you for interceding for your children. I can't wait to tell you the good news. No. I can't do it. This is not part of the arrangement now. Eh? If I had known, I wouldn't have in involved myself initially. <laughs> so listen and listen good. Go and do what you're asked to do. Living thing is living thing. Nothing next than that. Understood. Have you gone crazy or something? What? You mean I should kill my fellow human being? Wait, wait. Have you killed before? Chera would have asked you to shut up because you talk like a child. But then. Now listen to me and listen really good. Do you know how many people have killed? <laughs> the last one I killed was my younger sister. I could not come to you. Don't let me shout. I don't want to shout. Miss Yen, Miss Yen, talk now. Have you? Eh? I have killed as well. Look, the difference between you and I is that I've never been asked to kill anyone related to me. But the truth is, the moment that I'm asked, I would never hesitate because I love my life. As a matter of fact, Cheta, if I'm asked to kill you, or nothing twice. and do what you have to do. Wait. So, you people are this wicked. This is unbelievable. And you could sit in the church shouting the name of our Lord? And you can be this oh, wicked. Chata, shut up. Heaven will never forgive. Shut up and stop acting like a child, Chata. Look, you better do what you're asked to do. Zakuza has given you everything you've ever asked for. Money, faith, protection. This is your time to reciprocate that favor. Cheta, if you love your life, you must do it. You have just till next month to do that. Hey! Cheta. You should have listened to Iken. Cheta. Ikena is right. How did I get. I am finished. Hi! Cheta. Sir? Listen to me. Gamont. Hmm? Come on, Nelly. Gakusili. Sinkene libero. Si chelukene, ma poma ma kusiato. 
We know the times. I don't care anymore. Now listen, go and do what you're asked to do. Makampiawazo. Why you so? Come on, get out of here. Doctor, I didn't want you to take that. Uh, Saikena, here is Mr. Kenneth. He's my very good friend and uh, an old schoolmate. Yes, he's a businessman and he deals uh, on textile, uh, but uh, he stays overseas. So he needs someone, I mean a trusted person that can handle the new company he opened in the country. So I recommended you. Oh, thank you, Father. Uh, Mr. Kenneth, this is Saikena. He's a trusted friend and also a son in the Lord. So please meet him. Uh, my pleasure to meet you, sir. My pleasure. Yes. Do you have any business with Spira? Yes, I do, sir. I do. Then we can do business. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. It's all right. It's well. It's well. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I give you all the praise. I give you all the worship. May your name be exalted. Mary, thank you, Father. May your name be glorified. May your name be exalted. Thank you, Father. Mary. Is there anything too hard for God to do? Absolutely not, sir. Mary, the God of impossibilities just answered my prayers. Father Jude introduced me to a man who owns a very big textile company. He said he was looking for capable hands to handle the business. Guess what? He offered me a job. Mary, he didn't just offer me a job. He gave me a house. My sister, he didn't just give me a house. He gave me an official car. Mary! Hey! 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 Cold. Hey! Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, I love the former so much. I mean, I could do anything for her. And just because God was trying to test my faith, by letting my business crash. If Oma turned her back on me, she left me. I cried. And since then, it's been very difficult for me to fall in love. I'm sorry about what you have been through and I promise to make you happy in my own little way. Thank you. And I must commend you, I was, I was surprised when you got the gift and when you told me that, oh, that I was, uh, you were one of the people. Oh yes, I've heard you. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do by tomorrow. Yes, I'll send my boys to to see what. I salute you, great messenger of Sakusa. The wind is gone. I have just a wind to bring the required amount of sacrificial virgin. The best spirit is not a patient. 
So I thought Kipri went to avoid a disaster. Ritual. I have not killed before. I, I, as a matter of fact, I cannot kill. Please, can you give me another sacrifice? I will provide it, no matter how big it is. So I put your hand in my and you promise to return it. The spirits gave you everything you asked for. You must provide what is demanded. Or else we face his wrath. This option is unnegotiable. Unnegotiable! But how? What do you care for? Nothing. You sure? Yeah. You don't want anything? Food? Yeah. Drinks? Oh, okay. That's fine. Merit, I um, I invited you just to say thank you for everything you've done. I mean, you came into my life when all hope seemed lost. When everyone turned their back on me. I, uh, I just want to say thank you. I... Uh, sometimes I... I look at you and I remember a lot of things I have been through. The people I loved and cared about betrayed me. But each time you show me care, each time you show me love and affection, I, I just feel like I, I owe you the world. I, I'm about to do something now. I, I am not doing it because 
you helped me or you were there for me. I'm actually doing it because you deserve it. Merit, will you marry me? I promise to be a good man. I promise to love you. I promise to protect you. I promise to treat you like a woman should be treated. Tears. God bless you. 
God will keep blessing you for me. May God bless everything that concerns you. Bless. Driving in like a man. All is not well at all. All is not well. Do you know what is not well? Please, I have a confession to make before I confession? die. Confession? Wait, before you die, who's killing you? Confession. Confession. I had a part with the devil before. What? The devil? Yes. What, what devil? Which devil? Missy and the America are responsible for all the problems we had in our business. What? What, what devil? What are you talking about? What did you say? Downfall of my business. The mecca and Benzia. And, and you didn't tell me? They are occultic people. How? They keep people to make their money. Yes. And you didn't tell me? They destroyed our business due to jealousy. Yes. And because we did not join that club. You see that club? It's not an ordinary friends club. It's devil's temple. The occultic. They, they asked me to sacrifice human, but I did not do it. I believe that's why they wanted to kill me. Please, mother, pray for me. I don't want to die. You will not die. You shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. You will not die. Amen. Accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, and you shall live to testify His goodness in the land of the living. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let us pray. Say it In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Praise Sakusa! Praise Sakusa! The secret of the sacred order. He has opened his mouth at death and must bear it with his blood. No one, no one dares the spirit of Zakuza and lives to tell the story. But of you have seven days to offer his heart to the spirit of Zakuza, or else you bear with yours. As the spirit pleases. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, I have a few bottles of wine. So we all know why we're gathered here today to give thanks to God. God has been merciful. It has been a lonely road we have traveled. God has been good to me. I don't know about you people, but God has been good to me. So before we proceed with the opening of the wine, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Spirit. Father King of Glory, we thank you for everything you have done. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for loving us. We 
Former, you disappointed me. I least expected this from you. You abandoned your husband when he needed you most. The worst of it all is that you started hanging out with his friends. Infidelity. And now you're pregnant. You don't even know who's responsible for this pregnancy. <laughs> I didn't mean to do all that, please. I loved my husband so much. I was misled. Please have mercy, please, Sarah, please. Please help me. Help me because I'm back with my husband, please. I beg you. Please, Sarah, please. Please help me, please. Hello? Father Jude? Good day. I'm fine. No, I'm in the house. I'm home. Okay. Alright, I'll be with you shortly. What is this? Is this why you called me here? Second, so please sit. Please, just sit. Second, so a man asked Jesus. How many times will someone offend you in a day and you won't forgive? And Jesus answered and said, Seventy times seven. And that is to say that as long as we live, forgiveness is what we owe one another. In our daily prayers, we pray, forgive us, O Lord, our sins, as we forgive those that sin against us. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. Your wife has realized her mistakes, and she has come begging, please. I beg you in the name of the Lord Almighty that we serve, forgive her, please. Father Jude, I am sorry to disappoint you. What you're asking me to do is completely impossible. It is completely unacceptable. And for your information, if this thing here, is the reason you called me. Consider this meeting over. Saikena, so I really understand how you feel. Yes, I understand. But don't let this your anger make you forget that you are a Christian. <laughs> Father, 
You see, I am trying not to sound disrespectful. I'm trying not to sound rude in any way. <laughs> I, I'm sure we both know what I'm talking about. I was told she lost the pregnancy. I was told she lost the baby. So why is her tummy protruding like someone who just ate 46 plates of pounded yam? came back and Father Jude is begging you to accept her? <laughs> For what? Before one left me, she left me when I needed her the most. When I found myself in a very critical situation. Mary Foma also aborted my child. My child. She killed my child. And as if that wasn't enough, she started sleeping with my friends. And now, she has the F on tree to come back to me begging for my forgiveness because she knows God has blessed me again. <laughs> I respect Father Jude, but brother, I will not advise you to consent to what he's saying. <laughs> I mean, that woman is a bloody witch. A gold digger and as such, brother, she should not be let back into this family. Mary, let me ask you a question. I know all women are not the same. But why do women behave this way? <laughs> brother, Sophia, is that the way you see me behave? <laughs> Mary, do you know she's pregnant? It's good. Maka, this is serious. This is very, very serious. Look, our lives are at stake here. We must find him. We must find Cheta. Cheta cannot run. No matter how hard he tries to hide. 
I will fish him out. Trust me. Oh, merciful Jesus. Oh, merciful Father. Oh, merciful Redeemer. Father, I trust in you. Oh, merciful Jesus. Miracle Walker. The Lamb of Glory. Father, I trust in you in the time of trial. I just came to tell you that Jesus, this is not going to work, Father. Ikela is a guy that I've loved with all my heart. Ikela is a guy I've helped. Father, it can't be possible. I've always been by his side. I've helped Ikela a lot. Eventually, I fell in love with the kid now. Father, I'm engaged. How do you expect me to leave a man that I love, a man that I've engaged you with? You agreed you knew he has a wife. <laughs> yes, I know that he has a wife. But she ran away a long time ago, Father. Um, what are you telling me? <laughs> listen to me. Once married is married. Okay? I want you to know that a good man that would love you and cherish you will come your way. Just leave it in now. <laughs> Okay. I am not going to leave him for anything. He can I smile, he can I smile. I'm not going to leave him again for anybody, Father. And there is nothing we can do about this. And don't forget that what God has joined together, let no one put us on that. Father, I am not ready to leave Ikena for whatsoever. Ikena is mine. I'm not going to leave the kingdom for anything. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Put yourself in my shoes, brother. What do you want me to do? I have nothing to do with no second job on this. Sometimes I believe God allows us to go through certain situations because He wants to test our faith. He said in His Word, if we have faith as small, as little as a mustard seed, we can speak to the mountain to move and it will move. So I know it's, it's, been, it's been tough, but look at the transformation. Are you surprised? You know, when Father looked at me and said, I'm giving you a... a, a let you into my house. Yes. How did you find this place? Father Jude gave me the address. Father Jude gave you my address and you boldly walked into my compound with another man's child. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Please, I'm sorry. Now listen to me. I'll walk into the house. By the time I come back, I don't want to see you here. Don't try me. Please, please, I'm sorry. Baby, please don't do this. Please, please, Get up. It's 
Mama, come and go. Please help me. Please. Please help me. Please. Why are you acting as if you don't know what brother will do to you? Please leave this. I can't live without him. No, baby. Mama, you're not bad. You're not bad. Please help me. Please have changed. I have changed. Please. Baby, please. Baby, please have changed. I'm a changed person. If I'm not using my hands. You have three days left. The spirit of Zakusa will take your lives if you fail to provide your time. Go and look for him. No, great, great one. We have searched everywhere for him, we couldn't find him. You got him! And should be held responsible for the damages he does here. So says the spirit of Zagosa. Psyche now. To err is human. To forgive divine. You need to forgive her. Mala. It is not as easy as you think. I know. And that's why you need. God's grace. Now tell me with all sincerity, don't you still love your wife? I mean, is there no iota of love in your heart for her? Mother, I have moved on. Ifoma should do the same. Mother, I, I love the former. She's my wife. What I felt for Ifoma, I have never felt for another. But I'm sorry, things have changed. How do you mean things have changed? Can you explain? Mother, I am engaged to another woman. Come to think of it, she's even pregnant with another woman. Holy Moses. So fast. Yes. Now, who is this other woman? Her name is Mary. She's a member of the church. Mary? Are you serious? He engaged another woman in such a hurry? It's surprising, Father. Ah, really surprising, though it's not his fault. He did nothing wrong. Um, I think, Mother, we have to do everything possible to ensure that we bring him back to his wedded wife again. Um, Father, I don't think there's a possibility. It's possible, it's God. Um, though it's going to be tough, considering the fact that she's pregnant by the man now. <sighs> we need God's intervention in this matter. I think so, too. I want to thank you for all the good things you did to Saiken and when the going was not really smooth. Um, but uh, there is an issue on ground and that is why I deemed it pertinent to discuss with you. Okay. I believe as a good Christian that if I talk to you that you will understand. You are awake and now has a wife. Sure. But she left a long time ago. And yeah, she left. And now she's back. So, what does that have to do with me? If Oma wants to come back to her husband, she has confessed 
and she's ready to turn a new leaf. I know this is very difficult for you to do, considering the fact that you're already engaged to Kenna. But please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Almighty, leave Ikenna for his wife. Father, what are you saying? Despite whatever happens, if Omar remains Ikenna's lovefully wedded wife that we all know, please, it is difficult like I said, but I want you to consider if you are and this shoe, how would you feel? Father, are you in any way insinuating that I should leave the man that engaged me? This discussion is over. He can have a wife. And that's final. Listen, I am confused right now. I don't know what to do. I'm like, look, see, I can no longer sleep. I can no longer rest. I am confused. Well, Maisie, honestly, I'm as confused as you are. Yes. Well, I'm like, I have to do something. You have failed. Please. You failed to do as instructed. Jacuzzi has come for your soul. What? No, 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 Maisie, I won't die. I, I, I won't die. No, I, I can't die. It's not possible. Azu do bama ibuana. Yes. You can not. 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 You can you cannot do it. No, that's it. That's it. You can't run away from your shadow. You fail to do as you were directed. Your time is up. Oh, Stay oh. out of this or I kill you. You can't kill me because I have no business with you. Besides, he that is in me is greater than he that is in you. Okay. Now take it. Calm down! Jesus! Oh merciful Jesus, I am sorry. I have a pact with the devil. Honestly, I appreciate your works. I didn't expect you to work this much. I enjoyed it so much. You know, listen, let me tell you. There's a saying that when a woman knows how to handle the husband. It looks like she uses charm. Why you malo be dear for the good job? Nah. Honestly, hold on. Let me show some appreciation. That's a four hundred dollars. Wow. Change four hundred dollars. Change it. Just for a few moments. This is huge, thank you very much. One they don't mention. This little thing is what we give to people for thanks for coming. The other room. Hi. You know what you're gonna do for me right now? Turn around. 
and face the gate. Call me whenever you want to of see me. Of course, I'll do that. Right? Hey. You can go. Thank you. One name, Walia. Follow the formula. <laughs> I miss it. Prince Sakusa! Accept the offering of your subjects. forgive all the sins I've committed. It was greed that led me into this. Please. Oh Lord, forgive me my sins. Just go on your knees. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, I am God. I was surprised when your father Jude told me that. Merit, that's why I called you. I have grown to like you. You're very caring. You have a beautiful heart. And sometimes, I wish I could pay back everything you have done for me. But I have to tell you the truth. Please forgive me. I have decided to take my wife back. She is my wife. We are married before God. I'll be failing my duties as a Christian if I don't forgive her. I won't have peace of mind. Please, you have to understand. I, I, I believe you're going to find a good man who's going to be there for you, who's going to provide for you, who's going to protect you. I am not that man. Please. I'm sorry. 
Though it's very difficult for me to admit the fact that I'm letting go of you. But I believe in the word of God that says what God has joined together, no man should put asunder. Though it's very difficult for me, and I hope that God will bless me with my own man someday. Father, mother, it is not easy for me, not at all. But as well, Ikena, you can go on with your wife. I think Lord will send you your own wife. Okay. I am... Um... I must commend you. You are an example of what a caring woman should be. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And I pray you find someone who would love you just the way you wanted to love me. For you, if or not. I forgive you. It's okay. God will surely bless you with me. Thank you. Whatsoever I am and so that is shall 